Hello and welcome to Heroes of History. We are now at Sunset Fortress and we'll start here with battle number one. Let's just continue this fight and see if we can win this uh, round. And let's take uh, see if we can take three rounds without this uh, being too long. Now I choose those uh, five level three heroes here, or rather level thirty heroes. I choose away those uh, here in between because they won't not be super effective against well a bunch of light units. Now everything is going over here. Now he is going to jump and do a massive amount of area damage, which is great. This guy keeps them alive. You can use any healer. But this is the strongest healer I got. She can take over units and is quite strong, but it's more effective if you got enemy heroes that she can take over units. And this guy buffs our heroes or ordinary units with a uh, shield. So it's quite handy that he can uh, create the machine, the blue markings here on top of the green lifespan. It's the one that keeps him alive without getting hurt in the array of battle. So this is why I, this is the wise uh, I have chosen to uh, choose those heroes. And of course that's also what is available to me that defines what I take in. Now of course Bismarck is uh, in a dire position because he is there to take up the punch and gives himself a ma major blue shield but also with the healer buffing him up all the time the rest can just pick off all the enemies as long as everyone is strong enough to keep him alive throughout the entire battle which works fine right here let's move on to the second battle Yes, here's stage two. And let's just charge in here and see what. Now, I'll click this auto button over here. And maybe some of you have uh, watched the early videos and have no, I don't push buttons down here. Of course, the auto button can be taken off, but uh, I find it uh, useful that they use their powers as soon as they are available. Well, of course, you can reach situations where you will want to save them for the next wave, but in the midst of battle, that's not an option I enjoy doing. And the delay between the fill up, the powers to right clicks, well, it's just more effective to have them on auto. I also have to change this speed from one to one to and a half in speed change. So, it makes the battles take less long, even though they might tend to be very long. With the archer function on top of it, I don't have to do a lot, and the battles take a lot less time. Well, let's just see here. They are out of the question, and we're going to wave number three now. Now, as you see, he was pretty far down here. I could with the uh, good intention have taken this off a little while before so he hasn't thrown it the last time because then he would attract all these units much earlier and I would avoid hurting my other heroes or even the support units that comes with them when at the start of the battle and keeps more alive which again is more effective if you want to be the difference between winning a battle or maybe losing it or even just getting a little less stars. Let's continue to the third battle. And here stage three. See he's a lot of here that's a hero down there. So effectively she just takes him. He starts shooting at their own units here, which is very well effective for us. Now when we're closing it down here to the wave is over, let's take off the auto and see the difference. It might not 
do a major difference in this battle uh, because we are so much stronger than our enemies but still it is worth considering to make it more uh, effective for you in the future now see I have taken it off now and here as the next wave starts I'll auto it and they should start throwing everything off at once which makes is a powerful starting move everyone get healed up everyone of the enemy starts shooting at Bismarck like we want to and they can and we can do area damage at once too which makes it a super tough start for our enemies when we diminish their numbers as far as we can before the battle actually starts and auto again and see now they again throw off everything and everyone runs for Bismarck which is great because our other heroes won't get hurt the area damage here with them all collected in here well it takes the maximum toll on our enemies in the end here we should keep Bismarck alive please make um Yes, now he put up his shield again, and then we will be home safe. They won't be able to cut him down now. I'll say thank you for watching this video.